what's going on with Aries and love spirit guides angels universe let's give them clear concise messages what can they expect in love what is the current situation etc it is a general reading this may or may not resonate with every Aries watching this video okay and if you do need a personal reading all that information is going to be down below in the description box Queen of Wands, you doing you. I like that. Sexy, confident, badass. You got your shit together, Aries. The strength here. You could be resisting your feelings from someone, holding back from someone. Hmm. You could have been lacking confidence earlier, okay? Lacking the belief. Maybe you were chasing this person big time is what I'm getting, okay? Maybe you didn't have enough confidence in yourself, okay? You were probably being a little, like, more like that clingy lover, very demanding lover. But now you're on your own. You're good to go, okay? You're okay on your own. I like that. Very focused, very determined, very passionate, you know? You know what you want. You're like this go-getter, okay? And with the strength here... Oh, wasn't the fucking strength here? Oh, I shuffle. What the fuck? Okay, uh, yeah, with the sun here, right? Uh, sun here, right? You're looking for happiness. You're looking, you have probably even, you have clarity about something, okay? There's something that you're illuminated about. There's some kind of realization, like an epiphany is what I'm getting, okay? And maybe that epiphany is that you're okay on your own. And with the page of swords here, while you do you, there's someone here who's watching. They're watching. You have an energetic difference with this person, okay? This person is someone probably non-committal, someone who's, very very bad at communication or very emotional or very uh emotionally immature could be yes but more, i'm getting more of someone who's very bad at communication okay very bad communicator probably someone who watches stalks spies on you but they refuse to talk to you they refuse to uh confront you etc okay this person is looking at you like dude do i really want to approach her right now you know i don't think so but yeah there's a lot of spying going on they're watching you with a magician here, I think you all have that power in you, that willingness, that ability in you to make shit happen. You could be manifesting this person back into your life or you could just be doing you and you feel you have a lot of opportunities available to you and you don't have to stick yourself and hang around someone who's not ready to be with you on the same page. <clears throat> There's definitely either an age difference between you guys or you guys just think differently, okay? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more about Aries. Tell me more about Aries, please. <clears throat> I think you let this person go. I'm getting more like you let this person go. You're no longer holding on to this person. Maybe this person was being able to fulfill your needs, okay? Needs as in like, you know, you wanted something more passionate or something. Justice, see? They're coming in with that justice. Or this is probably something that you want. <clears throat> I think this person's talking and spying, okay? Now they feel the need to make things right. They want to rectify a situation. They're coming in towards you. Maybe this person wants marriage, but they want to ha they want to keep their tabs on you, okay? They want to look and investigate and find out and do more research about how they can come towards you, coming to rect towards you. This is someone who wants to make a bad situation good, okay? But they're definitely wanting to restore balance in your um, dynamic, in this connection, of swords but you're blocked out you're not ready to open up your heart to this person or you're not even ready to listen to this person that's flat out a blocking okay yeah <clears throat> i think you want something new i don't see this as the same person i think this is what you want you want something new you want something fresh you probably are even moving forward you're not even wanting to wait for this person for you it's like you know what i want some newness i want something Fresh. I want something more passionate or you know you're just wanting to uh, get something uh, which really uh, uh, gets you in that mode of um, that go-getter mode you know you're ready to you're literally looking away from this person can you realize how they're looking at you and you're you're like that ways you're like no I mean and probably it could also mean that probably from moving away from this person okay you think you're doing the right thing to yourself. You think you're bringing justice and balance to this situation by walking away from an unfair, unbalanced relationship or a connection. <clears throat> Tell me more. Yep. Looks like someone wants a second chance. The judgment. Someone definitely wants a second chance. Someone wants to, uh, uh, wants to reconcile with you. They're coming in. They're coming in, okay? Or maybe this is someone who's watching you I'm going to take it two ways, okay? Maybe there's someone who's watching and this person's want to, wanting to come in with a brand new approach towards the situation, okay? 
they probably thought it out, they've, they've gathered enough information and they're coming towards you with a brand new approach. Third equation I'm getting is that there could be two people who's watching you, okay? One person who you're passionate about or one person who's passionate about you and the other person is someone who you let go and now they're watching you. Three scenarios, take it how, however it is, okay? But someone's thought a lot about a situation and this person's like, more like an awakening okay this person's ready to wake up from their sleep and it's like they've got a shake up from the universe you know like wake the fuck up you know your queen's leaving do you want her or not and now this person wants to put in their all they're very assertive about what, what they want and what they want is a second chance with you they want a resurrection tell me more <clears throat> tell me more please what's going on with aries in love tell me more five of swords you feel the need to protect yourself from this person you've definitely walked away okay definitely walked away because there was a lot of conflicts between you guys a lot of tension maybe this person had a lot of ego okay there could have been ego battles you know probably you found yourself fighting with this person on something that was absolutely unnecessary and not needed but you guys probably fought on things where you both had that ego battle you know no i am right and the other person was like no i'm right like a ego fest going on but you walked away you no longer want to be a part of this uh silly immature um <clears throat> situation because see this person probably brought in a lot of drama in your life with the five of wands here you guys were just never on the same page maybe every time you try to talk about this person this person just shut you off they were very cold you know suppressing their emotions or they were ne they, they were never open to receiving that kind of communication again you just felt like this was someone who was just playing mind games with you <clears throat> maybe when you walked away this person thought you'll come back i mean <coughs> that's empty victory right someone who thought they won but actually they lost you walked away you're doing you and now they're watching you i mean you know like look who's laughing now kind of thing you know now you're watching them it's like they regret, they're definitely regretting. They want a reconciliation with you. They're watching you leave and they can't take it. Nine of Cups, you have a wish coming true. You have a wish coming true for sure. <clears throat> Temperance, wait for divine timing. Wait for divine timing. It's not um, Aries time. It's the right time. The right time is not the time for Aries. The right time is divine timing, okay? If you get what I'm saying. Wait for the divine timing, have a balance, have moderation, don't overdo anything. Let it go, let it flow is what I'd say. <clears throat> there is a need for patience here, okay? If you're going to lose your patience, it's not happening. It's not, for sure. Wait for something to happen, okay? Divine is at work. This is also the card of reconciliation, okay? Something's happening behind the scenes which you probably don't see happening but you regardless have something that's going to make you very happy okay it's that ultimate wish fulfillment <clears throat> they're regretting they're regretting big time they're open to having a, a conversation okay they could have sabotaged the connection all right on purpose well, sabotage is doing something on purpose but yeah they sabotaged the connection and you had to walk away you've lost the motivation you know you've lost that will that passion in the relationship all you wanted was was things to be fair, equal give and take, not a one-sided situation. But this person probably failed to give that to you. <clears throat> you're exercising self-control. If you're not, you should. You know, Aries, what I'm getting is that um, right now, you're probably in that phase of where you realize what is in your control. You take responsibility for it. And what is not in your control, you let it go. You let it flow. Okay, you're exercising a lot of self-control. <clears throat> Tell me more for Aries. King of Swords, you have clarity coming in, bro. Nice. From the page, we're getting the king. Wow. They're coming in to make that clear communication. And what they're coming in with is the Six of Pentacles. They're coming in to make it happen. They're coming in for sure. <clears throat> they're very clear about what they want. They're going to approach the situation with a lot of logic. And uh, this could be someone who is very cold, again repressed emotions you know but someone very manipulative lying you know they always had like the way out you know but um you probably were not in for something like that you weren't that's not something that you wanted <clears throat> i think this time your approach is going to be very light-hearted when they come in two things either this is your approach with the page of wands 
you're wanting something very lighthearted, okay? When this person comes in, I don't think you're taking them as seriously as you did once. Or this is the same person who's watching you and they're coming in with that communication, okay? They're trying to, you know, manipulate, test the waters, however they can get in towards you, they're trying to. But yeah, they're going to come in and they'll tell you with your words, okay? With the six of pentacles, this person wants that balanced relationship. They're ready to give you what you deserve. They're ready to give you what um, you've always wanted, okay? That's equal give and take. That's putting in... Um, uh, that's reciprocity, right? Equal exchange of emotions, conversations, whatever have you. They're ready to put it in. But with the seven of cups here, yeah, I guess it's going to either leave you very confused, okay? Either this person is all still in their head or this is you, you know? You're very confused about like, why now? Because you're probably looking at something else. <clears throat> it could also mean that you made a final decision of not letting this person in, okay? And you're wanting something different whatever it is right or this person is again like i said they're coming towards you with a different approach this time after doing their research and they want a second chance with you but it's going to leave you very confused here okay you probably have a lot of options okay and uh, you need to make a very practical decision but you're not being able to see things from a very realistic point of view you need to see things more practically and really like uh, more like what is best suited for me with the queen of swords here because i feel your approach towards this situation is going to be like screw you dude you know, it's like either I hear, I, I get to hear what I like, or then you're out of my life. For sure. You, you've you had it. You've had it. You, there are no more chances to this person. For you, this person sees you as someone who's given them an ultimatum, okay? And they see how serious you are. You're like in like, in like that no bullshit, no nonsense queen. You don't want to entertain no bullshit anymore. Give me one more card. <clears throat> I think this person is probably even confused about how to approach you. But they are. They really do want to. Whoa, magician. This wanted to come out before also. They're stressing about how to make this happen with the Nine of Swords here. You're on their mind on a constant basis. And they're stressing a lot about it. They don't know how to make this happen. They have, although, although they have everything that it needs, that they need to make it happen. But because of the stress here, the anxiety, the overthinking... Uh, they're probably literally manifesting their stress into reality, okay? Yeah, they're, they're having self-doubt. They don't know if things will work out between you because see, that's confusion, seven of cups, right? And the way they look at you, I don't think they feel they stand a chance here. The magician is all about self-doubt, more about lacking that willingness to make it happen, okay? See, there is a lot of love here. Two of cups, nine of swords here. This person is thinking about you. You're on their mind on a constant basis, overthinking, overanalyzing, a lot of remorse and regret. They want to make things happen with you, but they're just not sure if you're going to take them back or not, okay? <clears throat> they screwed up. They messed up. They agree. But regardless, you have a wish coming through. You do. It's going to be clarity. It's going to be this uh, resurrection. If that's what you've been manifesting, you're getting it. But there's someone coming in who wants to find an opportunity to make things right with you. Four of Cups, see? Eh? They're fearing rejection. Someone's fearing rejection. Give me one more card. <clears throat> Two of Cups. All right, you have, you do have a relationship coming in, but you know what I'm thinking? Two ways, okay? Four of Cups and Two of Cups. So I feel that you are probably going to move forward. You're going to get out of that isolation mode. Or there's someone here who's getting, who has that feeling of um, a fear of rejection, right? I feel there's someone here who's coming towards you, right? They're going to get out of that isolation mode. They're coming in and ready to offer you this 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 uh, uh, cup, okay? And I think you're going to be in a relationship here with the two of cups here. <clears throat> this is definitely someone who's uh, probably always, you know, never listened to their higher calling. You know, this person was um, probably constantly emotionally breadcrumbing you and that's something that you never wanted. Like I said before, right, you were very dissatisfied and discontent. But I think you're going to get clarity, okay? And uh, this person is finally going to have, going to be more active in love, okay? They're going to have this new understanding in love for, for sure, okay? And I think the two of cups are coming in towards you. They want to recover this breakup. They, they want to recover from this, okay? They want to let go of uh, the past sufferings and uh, the future looks like they're wanting to give you you know, a lot of promises and <clears throat> with a better understanding of what they want, 
they're coming towards you for sure very refreshingly and what they want with you is the two of cups they want a relationship with you that's for sure they're coming out of that stagnant mode they're trying to see things uh, from another point of view if there was a lack of excitement etc whatever happened right lack of progress stagnation they're understanding everything and they're going to make that conscious attempt to make things right yeah <clears throat> so that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.